Hello, my name is Sridhar and I'm from India. In this video, I show how to manage complex permission scenarios in Linux using access control lists or ACLs. First, let me give you an example of a complex scenario. All the users on the system belong to the same group. We would like to create a shared directory just for two users belonging to the same group. Giving permissions for the group would enable these two users but it would also enable other users in the group. This is not ideal. In situations like this, ACLs come handy. ACLs can be classified into two categories, minimum ACLs and extended ACLs. Minimum ACL corresponds to conventional permission bits for files and directories, meaning if you do the command get FACL for any normal file or directory, you would see what you see for ls-l or ls-ld. This picture here corresponds to that. As you see, this box is for the minimum ACL or access control list and this is for the ls-l or ls-ld. They are both same in the case of minimum ACL. In the case of an extended ACL with mask entry, the group class permissions are mapped to the mask entry. Meaning, if you do ls-l or ls-ld for a file object with an extended ACL, you would see the mask entry in get FACL output in place of group blitz. So, as you see here, this is the ls-l or ls-ld output, these three here. And here, this is the extended ACL output. As you can see, mask rw is exactly same as rw for the group here in ls-l or ls-ld. In both cases, the owner and other class permissions are same in ACLs and normal POSIX mode, i.e. ls-l or ls-ld. So, in ACLs, under group class, we have named user. Here, Jane is a named user group and sometimes there can be another group which is named group and then mask. So there are four categories named user, named group and group the user belongs to and the mask. Dealing with ACLs we need to talk about access ACLs and default ACLs. Access ACL defines the user and group permissions for all kinds of file system objects. Default ACLs determine the permissions a file system object, meaning a file or a directory, inherits from its parent directory. I'll show an example for this too. In this example, I am creating a shared directory called research for two users, hd40, hd40 and akj4. Both these users belong to the same group called users. If you do id, it shows that he belongs to the group users. Here also he belongs to the group users. And then I am going to use another user db2721. He also belongs to the same group users and I am going to use this user just for the testing. And then as a root, I create a directory research under the file system scratch research. Make hd40 owner of it. Group is users research and change permissions to 700 using chmod 700 research now i would like to modify ACL on it so that akj4 can access this directory before doing that i would like to show what ls-ld returns If you notice, there is a plus in the output. 
This indicates it is already an extended ACL. How come? ACLs are defined on the parent folder scratch. Default ACLs of scratch is passed down to its subdirectory research as both access ACL and also default ACL. Let's, let's do get FACL command on research. Get FACL research. As you see, it shows name of the object, owner of the object, and the group of the object. Next, user permissions, group permissions, and other permissions. These three are access ACLs. User, group, and other, these three are access ACLs. Meaning, who has what kind of permissions to access this object? Research. Here it is a directory. Last three that has default in the front are default ACLs. These three here are the default ACLs. So when a file object, i.e. a file or a directory is created in this directory, these are the permissions they are going to get as both access and default tackles and also it is exactly same as ls-ld if you see here ls-ld rwx right so user rwx group has nothing others has nothing under ls-ld group has nothing other has nothing so this is a case of minimum ACL. Let's modify the access ACL on research directory so that user AKJ4 can access it. Right now only HD40 can access it. Run the command set FACL dash M. The flag M is for modify the ACL. And I'm giving the user AKJ4 permissions read write execute and the directory name research now let's run get fackle again get fackle research you can see that named user akj4 has an access permission of read write and execute there is an entry, there is an extra entry mask. Now this mask entry becomes group entry in ls-ld. Let's do ls-ld to confirm this. ls-ld research. As you can see, group has rwx. This entry corresponds to the mask entry in the get factor. Just because there is read, write, execute for the group in ls-ld, it doesn't mean everyone in the group can access this directory as long as there is a plus in it. There might be a named user or named group or simply group or all of them together in the ACL, meaning in the get FACL output. Here in this case, it is just named user akj4 meaning only akj4 can access it even though there is a rwx for the group because if you see here group has nothing here and hence they cannot other users in the group cannot access directory except hd40 and akj4 so what permissions akj4 and group have Intersection of mask and individual permission bits is the answer. For named user AKJ4, intersection of mask RWX, RWX and user AKJ4 permissions RWX is RWX. So intersection of this RWX here and uh, intersection of the mask RWX is RWX. Hence, AKJ4 has read, write, execute permissions. 
whereas for group permissions are nothing and, and for the mask it is rwx intersection of nothing and rwx is nothing hence group gets to have permissions nothing let's confirm this all of 3 hd40 akj4 and db2721 belong to the group users owner of the research directory is hd40 and it is shared with akj4 with ACLs. so if you see here let's no let's do get fractal again get fractal research so owner is hd40 and it is shared with the user akj4 so let's do now the user is hd40 so he's entering cd scratch research all good and now user is akj4 so cd scratch research all good now the user is db2721 cd scratch research permission denied so permission is denied even though ls-ld shows rwx for the group rwx is for the read write and execute for the group and db2721 belongs to the same group users still he cannot access the directory research as there is a plus here that means it is an extended actl and just because there is rwx for the group it doesn't mean that everyone in the group can access it that means there might be a something else like a named user named group etc now what about default actls what happens for the subdirectories under research let's see as you can see every subdirectory under research gets rwx for owner whether it be hd40 or akj4 meaning whoever created it group gets r and x other gets r and x so here the default every user whoever creates the subdirectory meaning owner of the sub owner of the directory gets read write execute and by default group gets read and execute write is missing and the same is same for the other read and execute write is missing so for every subdirectory both access actl and default actl are rwx r minus x r minus x now the most important point to remember is group has r read and execute permissions but it doesn't mean much because only hd40 and akj4 can access the parent directory research so any subdirectory with the permissions read and execute cannot be accessed by other users in the group users except hd40 and akj4 as all the other users don't have permission to access the parent directory research but group permissions matter for hd40 and akj4 as both of them belong to the same group permissions of permissions for the group are read and execute let's create subdirectories as hd40 and akj4 make dire test one make dire test two run get fackle on, on both of the subdirectories get fackle test one 
yeah, faculty two. As you see, in both cases, only owners have right permission. Here, user, user meaning the owner, owner of this directory test one has right permission. And here also same, owner here AKJ4 has the permission, right permission, whereas group another has read and execute. This means here in this case, only HD40 can write in this directory test1, whereas here only AKJ4 can write in the directory test2. So, in the directory test1, AKJ4 won't be able to write and here in the case of test2, HD40 won't be able to write. Let's confirm this. As HD40, let's enter the directory created by AKJ4, which is test2. As AKJ4, enter test1. In both places, let's try to create a directory test. Make diet test. Permission denied. Make diet test. Permission denied. So, how do we fix this? We need to fix default tackle and parent directory research. Change won't work on old file objects. Hence, let's remove subdirectories. So, what I'm going to do is research less as root. I'm going to remove the subdirectories. Okay. Now let's modify default tackle on the directory research. So the command is set fackle dash d, d stands for default and again we need to modify the tackle. So flag m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the group based on the group. I'm not going to mention the group name because whatever the group the object belongs to by default will get these permissions which is users here. I'm going to give uh, before I do that I, I would like to show something else. So get fackle uh, research right now as you see and in the default tackles group has only read and execute permission. So now I'm going to give write permission as well. So set fackle dash D, D stands for default. That means we are going to change the only default tackles here. That's why D dash M RW. So I'm going to give the group. I'm not going to mention the name. So hence there's nothing and read, write, execute. And the directory name is research. Okay. Now let's do get fackle. As you see here, default tackle changed to rwx from r x. That means group has write permission now. So, whatever group the user belongs to has permissions rwx as both an access tackle and default tackle for the subdirectories under research because every subdirectory created under the research gets the parent directory default tackles as access tackle and default tackle. Instead of this, I could have added both HD40 and AKJ4 as named users for command default tackles. That works. But command becomes painfully long if there are 20 users. Instead of this, we simply give access to group as all of them belong to the same group. Again, giving default tackles to the group 
is not a problem because other users in the group cannot access the subdirectory even though permissions say rwx as they don't have permission to access parent directory research. Let's confirm this works. So, make that test one, make that test two, let's do get facul, facul test two, get facul test one. Again, under the access actors, group still has r dash x, right, is missing. And here the same case, even though we change the default actors for the parent directory research, we are still getting nothing for the right permission here. Why? Let's look at umask for both users. umask 0022, umask 0022. Oh, sorry mask by default it is 0022 for both users it is 0022 what does it mean it means write permission would be masked for group you group and others this is a file or directory would be created with a permission 755 which is rwx r dash x r dash x r stands for 4 w stands for 2 x stands for 1 hence for the user rwx that is 7, r-x that is 4 plus 1, 5, r-x dash, dash for other that is 4 plus 1, 5, hence 7, 5, 5. If there is a default ACL for the parent directory, rule is access ACL for the subdirectory would be the intersection of mode parameter and default ACL of the parent directory. So, Here, mode parameter is make dire. The command is make dire. So, whenever we create a subdirectory, for example, test2 or test1, the parameter we are using is make dire. Another example is touch. We use touch to create a file. Both these modes get their permissions based on umask. Since umask is 0022, for both users, both make dire and touch create file objects with permissions 755 which is rwx r dash x r dash x so intersection of default tackle of parent directory research rwx rwx r dash x if you see here parent directory that is get facul default tackle here is rwx rwx r dash x since umask is 0022 for both users, the make that creates any file with the permissions rwx, rwx, sorry, r dash x, r dash x. So, intersection of this, this one here and the intersection of this rwx, rwx, r dash x. So, I'll just write it here just for the purpose of rwx, rwx r dash x if you see here the intersection of these two will be r w x r dash x r dash x so for the group we are still missing right permission here that's the reason test one and test two had right missing in both the cases here for both users hd40 and uh, akj4 if you see here right is missing here and here is also right is missing even though we gave access uh, default tackle, sorry, default tackle RWX, we are still getting nothing for the right permission. This is the reason. So, how do we fix it? We simply need to modify the UMask. Let's change it to 007 for both users. UMask, command is UMask 007. Enter. Let's check what is UMass. See, change from 0022 to 0007. Let's do the same thing for this user 007. So let's confirm. Okay, so what does it say? So ignore the first bit here. 
second bit zero that means we are not masking any permission for the user or owner we are not masking any permission for the group either but we are masking everything for other so meaning any file or directory would be created with a permission set of rwx rwx dash 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 that means now every file or directory has right permission for the group as well before there was no right permission with the 0022 so now this is the mode make dire or touch this is the mode for them rwx rwx dash 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 and the default tackle is rwx rwx r dash x so let's write it here rwx rwx r dash x intersection is intersection of these two here is rwx rwx nothing so now group has right permission let's confirm this before we do that we need to remove the older file directories test one and test two so cd research remove rf test okay let's create the directory second as yes, ht40 and akj4 make dire test one make dire test two now do the get fackle test one get fackle test two as you see here now group has write permission here and here group has write permission okay let's test user can create directory in the directory created by other other user so enter the directory created by akz user for hd40 cd test 2 and here as user akj4 i am entering the directory created by hd40 cd test 1 since group has write permission both users should be able to create directories here make dire test success make dire test success again okay now let's test any user other than hd40 and akj4 belonging to the same group users can access subdirectory under research as group has rwx permissions so as user db2721 let's try cd scratch research uh, test one maybe permission denied test two permission denied even though group has rwx here other user cannot access the, both of these subdirectories because he can never access the parent directory as you see parent directory has nothing for the access tackle okay so right now change in umask is temporary meaning when the users log out and log back in they would get the default 0022 putting umass 0007 in dot bash rc would make it permanent for both users you simply have to add something like umass 007 to your dot bash rc which is in your home directory ls ls dot bash rc you see here the bash rc is there you just have to edit that file and add umass 0007 okay but what are the consequences of changing umask to 0007 apart from the shared directory research let's say both the users have their home scratch and archive directory as uh, for example here ls home akj4 that's his home directory okay and then there is a scratch directory scratch slash akj4 and there is another archive directory archive slash akj4 
So both users have these directories. Now whenever a new file object is created in any of these three directories, they are being created with rwx, rwx, dash, dash, dash permissions, right? Because we changed the umax to 0007, hence any new creations will be will have permission set off, read, write, execute, read, write, execute, dash, dash, dash. This means everyone in the group can access them. How do we avoid this? For example, here, as an AKJ4, I create make dire. No, let's go to cd, cd, that means I'm in the home directory, pwd. Now I create make dire test ls dash ld test would be the simply see here owner has rwx rwx again for the group that means any other user that belongs to the same group users can access the file in, in his home directory which is not good for example here as user db2721 he can simply home akj4 test oops that did not so what permissions why is that because the reason might be that let's do the permission set what we have permissions on home akj4 that's the parent directory for the test directory right so let's do because the reason this user could not access the directory test even though rwx was there for group is that the parent directory home akj4 has permission set of 700 or rwx dash 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 that means only owner can access the parent directory which is home his home directory all other users have nothing so the when you most important thing here is when you change the you masks from 0022 to 0007 make sure that you have permission set of 700 on all your parent directories which are your home scratch and archive partitions so it should be ls dash ld home akj4 it should be 700 ls dash ld scratch uh, akj4 it's wrong here so he needs to change something like ch mod 7 the last argument okay so it should be like this see here again same parent directory has rwx awesome same thing ls same for the another directory archive so archive akj4 Perfect. So we're all set. We need to do the same thing for the HD40 as well. I'm not going to do it here right now. Okay. Now, let's delete all the subdirectories and default tackles on the parent directory research. Then let's give default tackle just for the named user AKJ4. See what happens then add hd40 as named user in the default tackle to see what happens so what we are trying to do is before we change the default tackle for the group if there are 20 users it becomes much easier as all of them belong to same group so we just have to run one command but instead of changing the right permission for the group under in the default tackles we can simply do the same thing for all individual users here in our case we have only two users so we can simply run two commands or one command by putting that both of the users but it becomes much difficult when you have more than 10 maybe i don't know i mean you have the command become either command becomes long or you have to run the same command 20 times for each and every user so another important thing to remember is once you create a directory with a permission set and change the default or access tackle, it's not going to apply for the old directory. So old file, old directories, or you copy directories from somewhere else into a directory with a certain set of permissions. All these old directories or copy directories would still retain their old permission set. 
they are not going to get the new either new permissions or permissions of the directory they are getting copied into so let's delete the old file objects okay good now add akj4 as a named user to the default tackle the command is so if you do get fackle research sorry i'm like let's go back cd dash get fackle research so group has rwx here uh, just so let's take the group permission let's take the w off for the group so how do we do that get fackle no sorry set fackle dash t dash m group r dash x research oh sorry what was the oh yeah if you see here the colon is missing okay now let's do the get fackle now group has no write permission okay and uh, for access also group has nothing so now let's change that set fackle dash i'm changing the default permission modify user akj4 so i'm adding a named user under default tackles i'm giving him read write and execute permission instead of giving the right permission for the whole group i'm giving the right permission just for single user akj4 research okay good now get let's do the get fackle the fackle research if you see before we never had a named user in the default tackles now we have a named user akj4 in the default tackles and he has read write execute permissions and there is another extra entry now that is mask like we talked before named user will have both access and default tackles for the subdirectories in the research the permission set that we there is the intersection of uh, mask and whatever he has for the named user so intersection of rwx and rwx is rwx which means the named user akj4 will have both access tackle and default tackle as read write and execute let's test it so let's create and as akj4 let's create directory of oh, first let's go to the cd scratch research make dire test 2 good okay let's do the get fackle test 2 if you see here the access tackle is owner has rwx which is akj4 and the group still has r dash x okay and named user akj for rwx and let's do here one more thing cd dash uh, make diet test one let's do get fackle again get fackle test one so for hd40 owner has rwx good and here named user is akj4 so akj4 has access permission of rwx that means he can enter the directory test one and also he can create files and tub sub directories in the directory test one and he can execute i mean he can enter the directory yeah but whereas here for the test two named user is akj4 but not hd40 hd40 belongs to the group i mean both of them belong to the same group but group is missing right directory it's a right permission meaning hd40 can enter the directory test to but won't be able to write anything because right is missing whereas here named user is akj4 he has write permission as well 
that means he can enter the directory test1 and also should be able to write let's confirm this so hd40 should enter the directory created by the akj4 so test2 make diet test permission denied just like we expected because for test 2 under named users hd40 is not there and he belongs to the group and group is missing w okay as akj4 enter the directory created by hd40 which is test 1 for test 1 when we did get fackel we got rwx for the owner which is hd40 but for a we are uh, we worry about akj4 right for akj4 he has w permission as well that means he should be able to create directory here see success so how do we give permission for the hd40 as well we simply have to add him as a named user for the default tackles for the directory research so let's go back here clear cd and remove the old directory again cd research remove rf directory okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the i'm going to add hd40 to default tackles hd40 okay now do the get fackle research as you see now we have two default two named users under default tackles before we had only one one default user akj4 but now we have both hd40 and akj4 now both users should be able to write and enter the subdirectories created in the research directory so let's confirm this so as hd40 let's create directory test1 and here mk dire test2 okay as hd40 let's enter the directory created by akj4 and as akj4 let's enter the directory created by hd40 which is test1 and let's try make that test success make that test success in both cases it was success if you see get fackle for the let's do let's go back and uh, get fackle test one cd dash get fackle test two if you see here from the research directory default tackle was hd40 as named user and akj4 was also named user so uh, both these users will get the same access and as a, as well as default for the subdirectories right so access see here access tackle hd40 has rwx akj4 has rwx and again default tackles is the same and here same thing both users are there under named users and the default Tackles. So as you see, both of them has RWX, RWX. Hence, here also RWX, RWX. Both of them have write permissions. So, first method of modifying group default tackle was a better better option as we had to run just one command here. Here also it could be just one command, but again we have to. If you see here, we can do like we have to do this. And at the same time, another user colon akj4 colon rwx, whatever the command is, a bit longer. It could be simple to use group because both of them belong to the same group. Finally, there is no need that one has to be root to run set fackle. As long as directory or file belongs to you, you can always run it. Just for the example, I am running as root. As you see, set fackle gives powerful mechanism to deal with complex scenarios system admins have deal with in setting up shared directories for user groups uh, hope this tutorial helps users and admins out there uh, one last thing i want to inform here is the paper i found extremely useful in understanding ACLs 
or access list can be found on Google with the search term access control list in Linux and the paper has the same title as well uh, actually I'll show you that one this is the one access control list in Linux search for it on Google and uh, you will find it it's an extremely useful paper and this is where I learned understanding access control list uh, uh, okay please let me know if you have any questions or doubts via comments and uh, I'll try my best to get back to you thanks for watching